Hey guys, welcome back to another one by me, Spectral Blood. So happy to have you guys back with me. Um, <laughs> uh, we are going to play a game this time called Red Haze. Um, <laughs> if you haven't been able to tell already, ooh, my cursor is in the way. I'm sorry about that. If you, ah, shit. I'm trying to get shit figured out right now. I'm sorry. Uh, but if you haven't figured out already by it saying inject and booted, there are definitely going to be some drug references in here. So if you have a, like, if that's controversial to you, if that's kind of an issue for you, if strong language is, is an issue to you, then you probably shouldn't be on my channel at all. But it's up to you. I can't stop you. I'm just trying to forewarn you that this game has some sexual themes. This game has some drug references and use, by the way. Uh, and it's incredibly fucking creepy. So I just want to forewarn you ahead of time. I know I haven't been decent enough to do that, but on the bright side, there are some parts of it that are funny. Now, this game does have multiple endings, um, in which I would have to, like, replay the game over and over because the first ending builds onto the next and onto the next and so on. I think I, re I, think I read on Steam, like, there were eight, uh, maybe eight different endings, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it, I could have that wrong. I would have to reread it. But, uh, I have only seen the first ending. And I'm gonna replay that same thing. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna play it the same way I did the first time, so that it doesn't build up, so that you can see what I saw. Now, if you guys like it the first time around, then I will definitely replay it. I will definitely replay it for you guys, so you can see the rest of the endings. But like I said, I just wanted to kind of forewarn you guys that there are gonna be some there is going to be some content that's not appropriate for all audiences uh so let's go ahead and hit inject and yes overwrite my save skip or watch opening i am going to watch the opening all right hang on a second let me adjust the volume here for a sec all right that should help This is a horror game. Don't rob yourself of the experience. The game is best played in a dark and quiet setting wearing headphones. Uh, I've got my light on anyway for my uh, camera, so fuck it. Red Haze is not over when you finish uh, when you finish it once. The game has many different endings and has many different pathways and endings. Getting one ending will only show you less than 10% of the full game. Let yourself be immersed. We're watching you and judging you. See, it does have multiple endings, and it just said only one of it's going to show me less than 10%. Once there was a girl. She was a, a drug, drug addict. <laughs> you guys are about to you guys are about to see where I get one of my many catchphrases. <laughs> 22 years old was kicked out of bed and hanged among every eight men. I got by for a while, playing as a overzealous boy so they'd take pockets of five of their own loneliness. But my need for rocks and apparent desperate demeanor led to them throwing me out like trash. Moving on to supposedly greener fields, pretending like they're not going to ugly fuck girls other than the ones they're dating. And they call me trash. I've come to get by in the shitholes of society. The abandoned, the rotten, the decayed. And life's been good. I got hooked up with a clocker by the name of Auntie G. She provided the rocks, and I... Became a hooker! <laughs> well, I did what I had to do. That means she became a hooker. Fuck it right into Cthulhu's abyssal asshole. Easy 
You roll it, just remember, if you're gonna smoke it, you gotta roll it. I don't do drugs. I wouldn't want to go see her either. But I really don't want to go back to the crack in a box again. I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit. Going back to being a buffer again. Never again. Fine, I'm desperate. Got some killer music to it though. By the way, guys, if you ever become a chaser for drugs, you need to go to rehab. I don't have much to offer, but I'm desperate. I'll visit Auntie G and see what I can do for some pebbles. Let's see here. This is like very loud in my headphones. Ouch, the sun is bright. As far as I'm concerned, that by it might as well be another peephole into an uh, that might as well be a peephole into another dimension. I'm no longer part of that world, the outside world. I hate you, mom. You fucking bitch. I hate you, bitch. Fuck. Fuck. You you straggled and shriveled whore. This is your fault. This is all you. If only you could see me now, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I don't think your mom would be very proud of you. Pill popping can be fun, but man, it's just not the same. The door is locked. It's been so for a while. I wonder what's in there. Okay. My needle and spoon... I've used up my rocks. I have to go get some more. Auntie G was the best source for it. Fuck, do I need to see that withering granny again? Oh, she's got the pebbles. I'm gonna go in here first. If I had a nickel for every bag of trash in this place. Someone must have left their prescription here. There was a time I once lived in this apartment. I came to this room all these years later to see how much it had changed. Little did I expect it had been run out of business and now it's crawling with hobos, druggies, and squatters. It's a shame to see it come to this. It almost feels like... A part of me has been violated. I guess what they say is true. Ignorance is bliss. I mean, yeah, shit kind of happens, bruh. God, the level some people will stoop to. I find myself hesitant to even call them humans. They're more like rats. Fighting over scraps, making homes in the dark, abandoned places of society. Probably rabid and full of disease. And now they're burrowing homes into the goddamn walls? <sighs> Wish we could call an exterminator for these types of rodents, too. Fuck them. Oh, fuck you. They're not all bad people. Huh, there's a giant hole in the wall. Looks like an abandoned hobo hole. Maybe they're, uh, they might be... Uh, Maybe they might have been storing away some of the goods. Let's take a look in. There 
Are there any goods here? There are not. But I'm getting out of here. That shit still fl uh, flips me the fuck out. That was fucking scary. What's in here? There's a key! I'm probably gonna regret every moment of this. It's not mine, but it's sitting here. I don't know who it belongs to. Take it. By the way, I know a lot of people think that playing it uh, playing it one time takes the fun away from it, but that is actually false considering I am a pansy ass and it's been fucking forever since I've touched this game. All right, hang on. It's been fucking forever since I touched this game. It's been a while. And uh, I don't remember half of it. I remember the route that I went, but I don't remember the events in which occurred. Um, I'm still horrified by this shit. And I don't play horror games very often. I do not have enough I do not have a collected head for this. I scare easy. I used the key to open the door. Hey, bitch. Fuck you. Head downstairs. Yeah, I guess. Save it? Yeah. I forgot where I went from here. Locked. Locked. Fuck! The stairs lead to the basement. Go downstairs. Mushrooms grow from the ground. Are they edible? No, I don't want to risk getting poisoned. I don't blame you. A well rests in the middle of the room. Why would they build one here? A bucket to fetch a pail of water. There's a hole in the wall up there. Not that I give a damn. Reach out. Watch. Um, story? Oh, yes? Hey, shithead. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. This really isn't a place for someone like you to call home. Oh, fuck it. Uh, yeah, you did tell me, but, well, well. Fuck it! Hey, what are you, deaf and dumb? I told you to leave. Squatting here. Someone as fragile as you could be hanging around at anyways. But I didn't want to leave you here all alone. I think staying together would maybe benefit both of us anyways. You're always being so stubborn and unwilling to accept any help. And I admit, I'm a bit naive and don't know the ropes of living as homeless yet. Us runaways need to stick together. Yeah, yeah you do. No, we really fucking don't. Yeah, you fucking do. Listen, kid, I get it. You're new to this whole hobo life thing. It's all new and exciting for you still. All glamorous or some shit. You think we can be friends. But I don't need any of that naivety. 
and you don't need to settle on this shithole. Anyway, I told you to stay away from me. Give me the creeps. Oh, that wasn't me and Rockhead. She's sweet. What? Don't say that. I just think we can get by better if we stick together. Everybody needs a friend. We could watch out for each other in these hard times and help each other through some of the challenges we face. Would you mind if I tag along? Well... Sure. Oh, fine. Sure, you can tag along. But I'm not your babysitter, okay? You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Got it? <laughs> Got it. I look forward to getting to know you. I don't. We really don't need to get to know each other. It might be better if we don't. I'll be your partner, but that doesn't mean we're friends. Huh? Oh, I don't mean to intrude. Too late. But help out. Like roommates, you know? <sighs> Implying we have a home. Come on, shithead. I was off to see Auntie G, and this don't change nothing. Please, don't call me that. My name is Story. Hey, wait for me. Come on, shithead. Your name is still shithead in my book. Tales. I really don't need to even commentate a lot on this one. They're not just children's stories, Rockette. The history behind these are often pretty dark and fascinating, and the way they've uh, been adapted into so many forms. Yeah, seriously, I mean, just look at the original Little Mermaid, for example. Bad shit happened. And same with Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Bad shit happened. And mm, same with Little Red Riding Hood. Bad shit fucking happened. Even if none of the stories are true, there's something magical about fairy tales. Something timeless about them that's caught our imagination for centuries. So read one with me, Rockette. It'll be fun. Not really. No. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Sorry, just kind of spaced out a bit. What's on your mind? I was thinking about my sister, fairy tales, nothing in particular, none of your business, squeezing your chest. <laughs> squeezing your chest, most definitely. About squeezing your hungers between two hardcover books. Going to ignore that. Why are you so damn pervy sometimes? Because it's fun. I need to write this even though my hands are still shaking. Everyone's dead. We just went in and now they're all dead. I thought that twisted janitor was bad enough, but what the fuck even are those? If you read this, turn the fuck around right now. You don't want to go further. Trust me. I don't know what's going on, but I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to lock myself in this room, and I ain't ever coming out. Oh, shit. Um, story? Where did she go? I'm getting bad tensions again. I don't remember this part.
I actually didn't make it this far last time. Fuck me. Second floor of the lighthouse? Yes. I'll, I'll look at it. It's actually serene here. There's something glimmering down that drain, but no way I'm going to stick my hands in that. That's fine. It's whatever. I don't give a damn. I'm going to just keep going up. Why you do this to me? that really auntie g god damn i hope not i was beaten and abused humiliated i couldn't pay up anymore so I was no longer of any use to Auntie G. I don't know why I expected otherwise. In the end, no one gives a rat's ass about the homeless. We are killed or swept up in the night, or whatever ends anyone who bothers me, please. I have done a lot for Auntie G. No, that's a lie. I had done a lot for my next fix. I couldn't give a fuck who gave it to me. But for every drug exchange, I traded something I began to have less and less of. More than just money. I had given up my own humanity. And myself. Somewhere along the way, I had crossed a line. I had stopped caring about almost anything. And that's not true either. I just didn't want to feel. I just didn't want to be myself anymore. I was left in complete darkness for days. I don't know. Maybe it was a bit longer or shorter than that. I wasn't given anything to eat or drink. So all I did was sleep. I slept and I slept. That's called depression, you know, and the more you sleep, the worse it's going to get, so you might want to wake up for a bit. I'd wake up, and my mouth would be dry. Yeah? That's called depression. You sleep so much, if you dehydrate yourself, you end up hyperventilating, eventually you kill yourself. And you don't even intend to. It's called depression. But there wasn't anything to drink. It's also called, it's also called abuse which can often cause depression. So, you got... I had to go into relapse. Oh, shit. It's in constant pain. Oh, yeah, relapse. That does it, too. I became cold, shaky, and sweating. Oh. Uh. spasms, pains, and cravings. Yep, yeah. that's meth. I guess I hadn't had a fix in a while, huh? It's called meth. One day, light seeped into the room. I felt a cold and hard chain shackled to my ankle and the chain was pulled with great force dragging me out across the floor but I didn't put up much of a fight was I being trafficked oh fuck no this is my life now huh when you lack power in this world options. I waited for the inevitable. But as time went on, we weren't moved anywhere, nor did anyone come in. Still, no one was allowed to leave. We were just left to idle. What was their game here? What the fuck? Everyone wants to be happy. 
I mean, that's that's tr- that's definitely true. Despite what you've been through, you uh, everyone wants to be happy. No matter what. I don't know if I do. You do. You just won't let yourself. I mean, yeah. Sensible. I'll make you happy. I'll let myself in. Happiness is what all humans want. And we will be happy together. We will. I began to change. And I was happy. Alright guys, well uh, that was Red Haze. Uh, that was only one of many, many endings. Uh, and I really hope that you guys are, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's a really, it's a really interesting game. And if you guys want to see more of it, then just let me know. Just let me know down in the comments below. Because there's, there's a lot of endings as it, as, as it was stated. And I had actually never seen this ending before. I panicked and I fucking ran. So I had actually never seen this ending. So I didn't know what was going on either. And we can honestly just keep going this route if you guys want me to. Look, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you really want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video as well, leave me a like and subscribe. And we're just going to rock out to this song for right now. Drunk with you. Be drunk with. Thanks for playing. Twenty-six endings. Ah, oh, man, and there's a crash code here too. Well, dick. All right, that's okay though. That's all right though. Um, I love you guys so much. Again, thank you so much for watching. Um. I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put any more of this game up here because it flips me the fuck out unless you guys wanna see it. If you guys wanna see it, let me know in the comments below and leave me a like and subscribe. I love you guys so much, and as always, I will see you next time.